Okay, final little section on here. I want to talk about basically your YouTube advice, your tips. And so a few questions kind of sparked that discussion. If you were starting over today, what would you do to generate momentum? I would study every single channel that was in my my genre, my niche. Look at their descriptions, the way they title things, their thumbnails. Like I've even looked on Google what color is more eye-catching, red or yellow, mm -hmm. and just research every single thing that you can um, because, you know, you're going to be making the content, but if you want it to do well, it has to perform well in the search engine and appeal to a lot of people. The way that YouTube and Google works in general is that someone types in a search term and they just want to give the best result for that. So the more information you can give YouTube and Google of what either your website or your video is about, the better. And when you're uploading a video, you get so many different things to fill in. And I know for a fact that a lot of people don't bother filling them in at all. And I right. fill in every single thing that I can. Every single thing in that back end, I fill it in. Mm -hmm. And that just gives YouTube more information so that when someone searches for, say, a June video, mine pops up because I've told youtube several times this is a dune video so show it to the people who are looking mm -hmm. for dune so study that because i see some people just post videos with the title and then a one-line description and i just think yeah. you're not gonna do well pewdiepie yeah. doesn't have to post tags but if you're just starting out you you need to yeah. do tags trust me do them yeah it's, basically as long as i've been around like i i pull up the official synopsis for the movie, the cast and crew information. Yeah. And I just copy and paste this big chunks of like, it, cause it's just words, language, what this video is about. Then exactly. my description, fill it out every single time. I use several of these kind of keyword tools to like think of alternative ways to write the title. What are, what people might be searching for that this would be an answer for that search and just fill all of that up and then write some copy in the description that sentences that feature those different answers for how someone might um, search for this video to give YouTube as much as information as I can to help get this video in front of those people. Yeah, you have to do as much work in the back end as you do on the front end and just, you know, interact with your the people who watch your videos as well. It's a bit difficult once you get to a certain level, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I mean, I'll post a video in the first half hour, anyone who comments, I'll respond to mm -hmm. and, and take my time out to talk to them. And it is really about just building that community as well. Hold on to people. If someone disagrees with you, then just chat it out with them and say, well, that, that's your opinion as well, I guess. And kind of the flip side to what we just asked, What's some of the worst YouTube advice that you've heard? What's the, the stuff that you hear and you go, you just kind of roll your eyes like, oh, that's that's not how this works. Um, the, the commenter it always, is always right. I've heard that before and I don't think that's the case. I no. think you will often get bad advice. You'll get a lot of good advice in the comments, but you need to be able to discern mm -hmm. what's useful and what isn't. Um, yeah, my number I'm, one video on my channel came from a comment. That was like, yeah. I saw it and I went, that's a good idea for a video right there. And then there's a thousand other videos that I get recommended in the comments that are like, that's, that, that is not a good idea. Yeah. There's, there's nothing enticing about that. That's confusing. You will watch and, that thing. Whoever's wrote that comment, but yeah. no one else will. There's people all the time are like, Hey, why don't you have fans on your channel? Wouldn't that be fun? It'd be fun for the fan. Yeah. And no one else, especially yeah. this guy right here. I'm like, I don't know who you are or if you're go yeah. good on screen or awkward or what. Yeah. So who did you vote for? Oh, it's going to cause trouble. Um, so yeah, the comment is always right. Um, you can't, people saying that, oh, well, once you have a, a hundred thousand subscribers, you're fine. That is really bad advice. Do not take your foot off the gas when you hit any amount of subscribers. Even when I hit a million subscribers, I will not be slowing down because youtube is ruthless and they're mm -hmm. constantly looking for new people mm -hmm. to get who will work as hard as you do for them so yeah do, do not rely on your subscriber numbers and just do what you think your channel should be doing is that good advice probably not but uh, that's all i got stay um, off my patch that's my next <laughs> part of advice um and then I guess we kind of already touched on this. 
what is your best advice for someone starting a movie channel right now? Yeah, don't do reviews. Find a unique way of doing things. Um, the Canadian lad's a great example. He's a Marvel. He just does Marvel Easter eggs, and he watches movies in slow motion and just mm-hmm. says what Easter eggs he saw in slow motion. And that is just such a simple idea, but it's just brings right. a whole new dimension that no one else has thought of doing. And yeah, just something like that, something unique, a new way of looking at movies. I would love to get directors involved with spoiler reviews, but they probably won't do it. But just something along the lines of that, where you can really reach out to people in an engaging way with things that they're going to care about that no one else is doing. And you're not going to get that from doing a review, unfortunately. Wait, finding that unique idea that's still accessible, that instantly you understand it. Like someone says... I, I watch movies at 0.25%. Here's all the Easter eggs I saw. You immediately know what that means. Yeah. And there's a gimmick to it that you go, yeah, what would you see if you just watched this without the movie? Like I, I watched the movie Free Guy with my kids and watching it, it was the third time I'd seen it. And there's all these things happening in the background. Every single scene, there's stuff moving around in the background. And you, you immediately can think of movies like that where there's, there's, there's so much happening in frame that yeah. you can't catch when you're Space watching. Jam was another one, yeah. You just, there's so much happening. And so the, it's a, it's a, one of these ideas that there's a hook to it to immediately know what it is. And it's enticing. Yeah. That's what you have to find. Something like anybody can come up with a unique idea that's inaccessible. Like that is, what, why would yeah. anyone want to watch that? So it's just... I watched looking, this in the bathtub. <laughs> like, no like, sign <laughs> It's, it's unique. It's a little yeah. bit dangerous with electricity, but like, the, no, who wants that? Of course, no yeah. one, and unless it's, I guess, a hot girl reacting in the bathtub. I guess that would also have a hook to it as well. But you ever yeah. think, like, what's the something that people actually want, and then you have a new angle where there's a there's a hole in the market, there's a gap, there's less, uh, the supply does not meet the demand. That's what you're yeah. looking for, and if you're creating rankings for popular franchises, you're competing against me. If you're doing uh, kind of uh, um, all the Easter egg videos, competing against you, 3C. Uh, if you're doing movie reviews, you're competing, uh, competing against Jeremy Johns, Chris Stuckman. You have to find the thing that no one's doing, but that it's a good accessible idea. Yeah. And, and that's the hard work. It's tough to find that. There's not an s- easy answer. I, I can't just be like, here, let me tell you, I've got a thousand ideas that are great. I, it's tough. Yeah, 100%, yeah. But you will find it if you think about it long and hard enough. 